With them, somebody say we we are God's house. We, we are God's, God's house. house. Say we are God's house. We are God's so here house. in the particular text, yeah, Lord, I got it. Starting from the first scripture up front, I told y'all we had the Holy Spirit in us, right? right? This scripture, Jesus says, "Me and my Father will make our home in you." Wait a minute. So now I got the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in me. Somebody says it's an inside job. It's an inside you, you, you won't be able to get out of this and say you never do now. From this point forward, it's documented in heaven. You knew. So we, it's, it's written down. We, everybody say, I got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in me. That's why Paul says we have this treasure in earth investments. Because he's telling us, y'all got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's a treasure. Right? Now, everybody say we are God's house. We are God's say, house. We are God's house. We are God's house. Oh, I want you to get the house part and have that in your spirit. Because I'm about to show you something through this next particular text in Kings and in 2 Kings. But I want you to understand, everybody say we are God's house. We are God's house. So watch this text. It says, A certain woman of the wives of the son of the prophet called out to Elisha, saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord, and the creditor is coming to take away my two sons to be slaves. Watch this. Listen to me, child God. Creditors, right? If you owe creditors, okay, I'm not I'm talking to a foreign, foreign country here. If you owe creditors, they will never take or come to take something that's of no value. Right? They will only want something that can possibly make their money back. Okay? Everybody say we are God's house. We are God's, God's house. We are God's house. So she says, the mother says that the creditors are coming to take her son. Y'all got it? All right, let's keep reading. Now it says, so Elisha said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? Okay. And she said, your maid servant has nothing. That's half our church sometimes today. Because remember, we the house. So they says, tell us what you have in the house. She said she ain't got nothing. Watch this. But if she didn't have nothing, she wouldn't, they wouldn't be taking the two sons who was actually in the house. I'm telling y'all. The sons represent your purpose. Right. And your purpose is in the house. Good God Almighty, man. Y'all won't never get this teaching like that. I'm telling you. Listen, listen. I'm trying to give it to y'all. Listen. The sons represent your purpose. But the woman said, she remember, she started off and she said, the creditor is coming to take my sons. And the prophet said, tell me what you got in the house. She said, nothing. And that's what a lot of individuals don't understand. We are walking around here. Yes, we are saved. But we're acting like we don't have nothing. Good God Almighty, man. In the house. That's good, man. No word. Come on now. That's good. That's real good. Wow. You do have something in the house. And she do have something. And didn't know. Because they would not come to take the two sons if they was of no value. Wow. The sons represent your purpose. And the purpose is. Yeah. But most people walk around saved, acting like they don't have. Nothing.